We are in Rio de Janeiro, state of Brazil. We came here due to massive floods and slides that has been affecting some of the districts in Brazil. The massive floods never seen before have caused several slides through all the mountains, which this is a very, very hilly area. After the initial assessment, the special needs that the animals are right now uh, are shelter, uh, food and clean water. We probably concentrate our efforts trying to supply those needs. I am the head of the BRC, which is Bioresource Research Center, and working in collaboration with WSPA to end bear baiting. I have a dream of uh, rescuing all the bears from the captivity, either from uh, being used for the baiting or the dancing. And uh, I wish a society that no wild animal kept in the captivity. Ahí está muy hondo. Milk, you can't have a good cup of tea without it. For thousands of years, British farmers have provided us with milk. 
rearing cows on lush green fields, caring for the small dairy herds and conserving our precious landscape of green pastures. But all this may be about to change. There are plans to build a new kind of factory farm in Britain. 8,000 cows crammed into sheds, living in cubicles and fed on concentrates. Today we've been down at uh, Thai National News Channel, Television 3, and trying to get the general public some information about what to be doing with their animals. Obviously we're doing a lot of direct impact to help animals ourselves, giving them food and shelter, but at the same time we realise that there's hundreds of thousands of animals that have been impacted by this flood. The latest figure from the Department for Livestock saying that over 600,000 companion animals, our pets, have been affected. Now, we need to tell the owners of those animals what to be doing. So we've given some simple instructions to them that we hope they can follow to help look after animals for themselves. about seven times that the bull is confronted with a weapon or some kind of torture device, some kind of cruelty before the final kill. It's not okay. Just minutes after the vote, and the vote went positive. Bullfighting will be banned from 2012 onwards, and this is a, an absolutely amazing victory of the Catalan people. Rabies is a potentially fatal disease, most commonly spread through dog bites and scratches. 20 million dogs are killed by brutal means every year, and rabies is often used as the excuse. The World Society for the Protection of Animals is calling for governments to adopt the scientifically proven, humane and sustainable alternative, mass dog vaccination. Take part in WSBA's Virtual Dog March. Sign up today and help protect dogs and humans from rabies.